I walk the mountains of ruefulness, trailing forever behind me, struggling to make it up its hills, envisioning forbidden lovers dancing, masquerading by sinister exploits, fancy dressed by mysterious kisses. I picture a web scene with fancy, catching penance as compensation for being allowed to slope upwards doubting if I will know tomorrow. As the resolving power of problems, even after ascending its highest point, there are gaping holes in the lifespan, standing in land masses of words, climbing mountains, painting shadows, shielding climbers from human deceit, Reaching past fraudulent schemes, lacking principles with no difficulty. I battle to climb the sassy mountain, blistering my back-talking feet, chaining myself with prayers, wheezing in the sowing of wind, attempting to ease the knots that lives in my candle-wax legs. The mountain reveals my wounded past, greening contemplation of dirt, reflecting foes disguised as friends, spying on the dense growth of bushes as the mountain is an undercover agent, wiretapping my secret dreams. I experience religious belief growing on unobstructed views of possibility, directing me through cryptic troubles. As resplendent trees drip blood leaves, released into space, speaking history, dropping into my frantic fingers. Surrendering is not an option. Nor is dilatoriousness or postponements when climbing the mountains of ruefulness as this atheist hears benediction and ceremonial hymns of God as I become a shepherd of barren lamb.